Welcome to Code with Kurt, the channel where you can get the latest Google Sheets and Google Apps Script videos. In today's video, we're going to talk about arrays. And I'm just going to show you the basic of arrays, how to load arrays, and how to extract the data out of the arrays. And I'm going to be using Google Apps Script to do this. Arrays can be useful by manipulating data, storing data as you're running a program without having to go to the screen and grab data. You can store it as you're working with it and then take it out when you need it. So I'm going to go through, do some numeric array here. I'm going to load a bunch of numbers and then I'm going to also do some strings and I'm going to show you how to sort these kind of things to sort the data within the array. So I'm going to go over to my Google Apps script here and my first function just has to do with the first sheet here. This array example one, EX1. So here I'm doing is declaring my active sheets, declaring my sheet here, which is the one I pointed out, the sheet name. I'm grabbing the last row of the data, so I'm going, grabbing this, whatever the, the last row is populated, grabbing that value. Here I'm declaring my array. Here is a good resource for arrays with Google Apps Script. They follow the format of JavaScript arrays. So here's, you can either Google this, go, just Google ja JavaScript arrays, or here's a good resource as well, w3schools.com. They show you how to populate an array. Uh, they do some methods here, how to push, push to it. I'm going to go through that, and then some sorting methods here as well. I'm going to do some sorting methods here, but this is a good resource. It'll go in depth. There's more functions around arrays that you could use as well. I'm going to go over to my Google Apps script. Here, again, I'm grabbing the last row. I'm declaring my array, numbers array. Here I am going through each row, and here I am loading the array. So here's my number, numbers array and push. Push, what that does is it adds a value to the end of the array. So every time it adds, it just adds it to the bottom of the array and keeps adding it and assigns it to a key. Key always starts with zero and then goes to one, to two, to three, to four, and so on. So I'm going through each row here and adding it a value to the array. And then my next for loop here is I'm taking the data out of the array and populating back to the spreadsheet. So I'm grabbing my numbers array length, which is the total of my array, how many values I have in there. I'm starting at zero because zero is the first key in the array. But I'm also using this as the row too. I'm just adding one to it to, to get my row. So I hope this isn't too confusing, but this starts with row one. And I'm also using the J as my key to grab the value out of the array. I'm just gonna go ahead and run this. I kind of show you what this does. I'm going to go switch this to array function one. I'm executing it. And right now it is just doing exactly what I, so it's stored 10, 50, 90, 80, 100. It is bringing them back out in that same order. I'm going to do a, a different command here. Instead of push, I'm going to use the unshift command and what unshift does it adds the value to the top of the array so every time it adds the value it goes to the top and it realigns all the keys again so the first value it it puts to the top is gets assigned to zero and everything else gets reassigned the next number up all the way down so again if we run this now it should reverse our order of the numbers so again so each number is getting added on top, so then when we bring them on out, we get 180, since 100 was the last one added to the top, that starts first, 80, 90, 50, and 10. And another thing we can do with arrays is we can sort them as well. So I'm going to go back to my push function. I'm going to add a command in here to sort my array. Now this comes straight from JavaScript array functions here. So numbers array is my array. I'm going to hit the sort method. And then I'm going to add this function in here. So there I have my function edit. And what this is going to do is going to sort my numbers out within the array. And then I'm going to 
display them back out with this for loop. So let's go ahead and run that and see what that looks like. So we go over here, now it lines everything out in order. So 10, 60, 80, 90, and 100. And I can add some more values over here just to get them mixed in here. Go ahead and run it again. It's going to order all those up in line. So that's our numeric array. That's just a few examples. We did the push, the unshift, and we did this sorting method as well. Again, can be found here in this documentation through this JS array, JS array methods, and JS array sort. We're going to go back. We're going to do the string stuff here. A string example. Here I got got cat, dog, bird, frog, fish. I'm going to go ahead and run it. Doing the same basic things here as the top one. Uh, I'm doing a push and then I'm displaying it out. Same way. So we go ahead and run my second function here. There it displays it. I am going to do the sorting method as well. String is a little different. So we're going to do string array, which is name my array down here. And we just do the sort. We don't have to do the function because it's not numeric. Uh, the reason we do this extra little bit for numeric is because it then it takes it as a number instead of as a string. Down here, we're just going to sort as a string. So we'll put that in there. We'll run it. We'll go back to our sheet. We'll run that. And now it puts it in the order of our listing over here. So that concludes this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it below the video. Until next time.